Superman went on the air in 1953 in New York on ABC at the time, and it became an instant success. Uh, uh, I Love Lucy was already a huge success. Went on the air, I guess, in 52, very shortly. I'm not aware of the timings of these things, and I wasn't uh, a reading TV guide or whatever at the time. But uh, we went on the air, and within a month, it was on the air. Uh, I realized that from being a young actor that was doing live television, reading things, I had become a, uh, well, what People Magazine called a TV teen idol, and I had become Jimmy Olsen. And everything that I had been able to do before, and I'd been in movies, but nobody cared like that. I wasn't a movie star, and I wasn't you know, that kind of thing. But now I couldn't take the subway. If I went on the subway, it was a nightmare on the subway. If I, uh, uh, I was asked to leave the little restaurant, I had taken a little basement apartment off of Madison Avenue, and I was having breakfast there one morning, a very late breakfast, and neighborhood kids, uh, uh, they had their lunch break, and they saw Jimmy Olsen in this place, uh, uh, and, uh, and suddenly the streets were crowded, and the police had to come in and get me out from these kids who saw Superman's pal, and they took me around the corner to the Metropolitan Museum. So my life turned upside down, and this was not my idea of a good experience. Uh, I got panicked by it, and I refused to do any publicity. I now see, since I later in life have produced films with people like John Travolta and Michael J. Fox and such, I realize how important it is for people to be gracious about doing publicity when you're working for them. But I was, I wouldn't do anything. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do a magazine interview. I wouldn't do anything because I thought everything I do as Jimmy Olsen, publicity in this, is just a further nail in my coffin as an actor, Jack Larson. I could have done everything, it didn't matter <laughs> because it never let up and I was typed and, uh, and I became uh, Jimmy Olsen, which is why you're interviewing me today. Uh, not because of a lot of things I did. I did good films. Did the last film I got co-starred with Ethel Barrymore in the last film she did called Johnny Trouble, which was a Warner Brothers release with um, uh, Stu Whitman and Carolyn Jones and Ethel Barrymore. But all those things are forgotten. Everything that I did except uh, Superman, and I'm very grateful for it. Later, uh, I, I, I freaked out about the whole thing for many, many years uh, and decided to turn my attentions elsewhere to writing and such, but um, because I just felt I couldn't be acting because uh, there were problems about being typed.